again. I hope you enjoyed that short slideshow. Today I'm going to talk briefly about agitators, decoys, helpers, and aggressors. You know, without a knowledgeable person acting as one of the aforementioned, even an outstanding canine prospect will not realize its full potential, whatever your goal may be. IPO, ring, KMPV, police canine, whatever. The ability to read dogs, to act and role play as it were, are just plain essential. And of course, this person also has to have physical abilities to go along with that and a game plan to progressively develop the dog. I selected each of the five photos you just viewed for a specific reason. There is something specific going on in each one. A goal for the dog is intended in each one. In the first, the dog is learning to bite the leg, but I'm not asking him to turn his head yet. I'm making it easy on him. In the second, a frontal, in-your-face approach with this very strong young male will produce the serious dog that we want. In the third, I want this dog to come hard and to look spectacular. Uh, I let him take me to the ground after I catch him. In the fourth, the goal was for this dog to come wide open in the stick attack with good bite placement. And finally, in the fifth, we wanted this dog to sit straight in front and bark at the man, not sit crooked, barking at the sleeve. I hate that sitting crooked and barking at the sleeve crap. The one thing I want you to remember is don't be like some idiots and just get somebody to catch your dog. Get somebody who actually knows something and can help you train your dog. Find a club and get involved or seek out a professional with many years of experience, like me. Very soon, I'll be starting my series of instructional training videos, about 25 videos in all, and I'll be talking in great detail on some of them about helpers and decoys. Believe me when I tell you, a really good helper makes all the difference. Makes all the difference in the world, no matter what you call them, decoy, helper, whatever. A dog that bites full and hard, outs when told and guards cleanly without rebiting, probably had an excellent helper. The great ones can make a mediocre dog look good, a good dog look great, and an outstanding dog look incredible. Keep training, my friends. Stay thirsty, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.